ladies and most of gentlemen today we're going to talk about secrets more specifically when you're talking about a secret mount which was found back in the beta but had its methods slightly altered since launch so the mount i'm talking about is the naz jata blood serpent which will be perfect for riding around naz jata in 8.1 am i right Anyway, this mount is a flying mount and a recolor of the Riddler's Mine Worm from Legion, which is also a mount which was spawned from a secret. It's a darker recolor with more reddish vibe. It's a lot cooler in my opinion, but it's certainly not as easy as the Riddler's Mine Worm to obtain. So as you can see from the title, you can either grind this mount out or simply spend all your gold on the items that you need to get this mount. So the item we need is called an Abyssal Fragment. So you're going to need 20 of these to start the chain of events which will lead to the mount. Back in the beta, these items were dropped fairly commonly from Abyssal Eels in Stormsong Valley. But since launch, it looks like these items now have a very, very small drop chance to drop off any NPC in Colteris or Zandalar. I've heard that a few places that the drop chance is slightly higher from NPCs related to Water or Naga, but I can't confirm that. Now if anyone has had one of these fragments drop, it would be amazing if you can leave a comment on this video specifying which NPC it was and where it was, but it's fairly likely it's going to be a similar drop rate across the board. So if you're too lazy to grind for hours on end and you have a ton of disposable gold, you can also pick these up from the auction house. As of this video, you're looking like they're going for 15k for one and about 125k for five. So that's around 300 to 500k just for this mount, which is a very hefty price considering it's just a recolor. But if you've got the gold, then why not? So once you've obtained all 20 fragments one way or another, you have to take them to a secret shrine called the Altar of the Abyss, which is located in Stormsong Valley at these coordinates right here. So here's how to get there. Fly to your faction's flight path over by Shrine of the Storms. Look directly at the dungeon and turn around and follow the path down, all the way down until you reach a pool of water with two thin waterfalls and one thick boy. Go through the thick waterfall and you'll end up inside a cave, and inside that cave is the Altar of the Abyss. So once you've combined all your fragments, you'll be left with an item called the Abhorrent Essence of the Abyss. And the use text on this item says make an offering to the Abyssal Flame. So the Abyssal Flame is actually also located in Stormsong Valley. More specifically, it's located in the north of Stormsong in a Horde cave near Warfang Hold. So once you get inside the cave, just keep going straight and then jump down the ledge and you'll find it. Jumping off the ledge will remove all aggro if you're an Alliance character doing this. So now it's time to spawn the Adherent of the Abyss. Now this is an elite NPC and at this point you're going to need a group. We did this on the beta with a small raid, but you can be done with four or more people. But more, the better, because you'll only get one shot at this. If the boss resets or you wipe, the item is consumed and you'll have to start from the beginning again, so you have to get this bit right. Only the summoner of the boss will able to loot the mount, so unfortunately you can't just leech off someone else to get a free mount. And that's it. It's fairly simple once you've got the fragments. As I said, this was a lot simpler to do on the beta, because the items only drop from one specific mob in one specific area. So at the time of making this video, there really isn't a good place to farm these fragments on retail. I've actually been holding onto this footage of the boss kill for months, as I had a feeling this secret would probably change before launch. So let me know down below if you managed to get this mount on live and whether you found a good spot to farm the fragments. Would love to know if there is any good spots to do this. So before I go I'd like to give a massive shout out to my patrons, YouTube channel members and my Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video guys if you'd like to and subscribe if you haven't. I also have a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members and a merch store over on Streamlabs. And I also have been streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM recently, so if you want to check that out, links to all of those are in the description below this video. If you're interested in helping out with some secret finding, I'll leave a link to the secret finding Discord down below. They're currently working on the Hive Mine mount, which is a pretty damn exciting one to be honest, so yeah, link to that is in the description. And with that, I'll see you next time.